Hi everyone. There is this famous book called Science of Eating. I found this book very interesting. I didn't read this full book, but I found this uh, excerpt from Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway meeting where he alluded to Ted Williams' strategy of science of hitting as one of the strategies that he follows in the investing process. So I thought I'll just bring this up what I read there. Now, uh, the process of uh, hitting, the science of hitting, uh, Ted Williams reveals his strategy in this picture you can see where his strategy was to wait for the good pitch or the right pitch and that too it has to fall in the sweet spot that he explained in the picture you can see the rectangle box so whenever it the whenever the ball was in that zone of the sweet spot he used to swing his bat right so it has to fall in the right spot in the sweet spot he used to swing his bat where he could get a hit 40 percentage of the time but he, if he had swung it uh, into something at the lower quadrant or the lower corners of that uh, you know the marked in red in the picture uh, the red rectangle or red square it, it he could only get a 20 to 25 percentage of the time he could get a hit only 25 percentage of the time so that reduces the probability by a great extent so his strategy was to just wait there for the right pitch now in baseball you have you get uh, striked out if you just uh, continuously leave pitch after pitch you don't have a choice like that but still uh, he used to take his probability but in the world of investing as Warren Buffett explains there is no strike so he can just leave pitch after pitch what he means by that is they follow a strategy which means Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger strategy was to wait for a fat pitch what they call it as a fat pitch in their circle of competence that is a zone they are talking about the sweet zone what Warren Buffett called it is called this the circle of competence so he used to wait there patiently, pitch after pitch, leaving them one after another, wait for the right pitch, wait for the right fat pitch. When it used to fall in the sweet zone, he used to go for it. They used to capitalize on that. Now, uh, there is no strike, uh, strike out in this particular process in investing, so they could wait you know, endlessly for years after years. And uh, one of the interviews Warren Buffett and Munger said, you know, they had uh, waited for even a couple of years, up to two years, three years with no action in their portfolio. Now, uh, the trick in investing is pretty much the same. It's just to sit out there and uh, wait pitch after pitch and uh, leave them one after another until you find the right fat pitch in your sweet, sweet zone or sweet spot or the circle of competence, right? So that is the whole idea that we are trying to bring up in this particular context. And uh, what I would practically advise, what I follow at least is, I maintain a wish list, I maintain a watch list of stocks great companies that uh, you know usually the great companies that we have in a watch in a watch list trades at an extreme premium valuation because quality comes at a premium so when you don't usually get them at the right price and the idea is to wait out there and uh, whenever an opportunity comes in uh, with the right valuation of a great company that is part of your watch list pounce on them, capitalize on that opportunity, back up the truck. So that is the idea I follow, I started applying and uh, to great extent it works but not that always we will have cash to deploy, right? At many instances of time we are fully invested but whenever we get a chance like that you should capitalize on that. So I thought I would bring up this particular strategy that he explained in this uh, whole process. Thanks for staying with me, signing off, Sandeep Parth.